Okay, good morning. Coming to now, we are going to discuss about a lesson from class seven, tanks and ground water. Already you know the importance of water in our daily life. So, how the tanks and ground water influence in our daily life? That is what we are going to learn in this lesson. So, already you know. Tanks usually we build for collecting the water. For example, if we are looking at the Nepal Delta or Sierra Nagara, we are getting tap water. Morning time it will be there, or sometimes evening will be there. Sometimes 24 hours there will be availability of tap water, which is supplied by the panchayat. That water from where do it gets? Because we are having a huge water tank. Through that water tank. From the river, the water will be sent into the water tank, and from that it will be sent to different areas through pipes. So, how it was happened? So, when we are thinking about the building of tanks or the history of building of tanks, not now okay. From the period of olden times, already you might have heard about megaliths. Megalithic period means it is a Period time that means 2800 years ago onwards we are having the building or the existence of tanks have been in our yard. So now coming to the old kings, old empires you might have heard Kagadiyas kingdom or Vijayanagara kingdom. Their kings also have been constructed different kinds of tanks for the welfare of the public. People or the welfare of the common people, and they build the tanks mainly in Telangana and the Rayalasi. During the period of Kagadiya period and the Vijayanagara period, okay. so the construction of tanks or the use of tanks, it is not from the recent time. From many many years ago, always it is remaining. Okay, now we will learn about a small or some few words. Pervious rocks. So, what is the meaning of pervious rocks? Okay. Pervious rocks means rock means already on you know, a big stone slab, big one. So, the rocks which are having cracks. Or pores. Pores means minute holes, small small holes. What is the plus point of that holes? Because the holes from within them, that rocks is having the capacity to contain water. Okay, such rocks is known as pervious rocks. Okay. So the rocks. Which have cracks or pores. Pores means minute hole. Okay, minute means very small. The meaning of minute means very small. Okay, so the rock which will be having. Different kinds of cracks or minute holes in them. Huh? So it will be having different kinds of holes in them, and can contain water. So the rocks which is having small small cracks or which is having um, pores, minute holes. And it can contain water is called the pervious rocks. Okay, so once again coming to what is the meaning of pervious rocks? Rocks already told you big, 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 right? And stones. So the rocks which have cracks, some some breaks will be there. Cracks means also pores. The meaning of pores means. Small small holes. In that rocks, there will be small small holes, 
and that rock can contain water that means that can absorb water or store water such rocks is known as pervious rocks so coming to impervious rocks is just opposite okay impervious rocks so already we discussed about the pervious rocks impervious rocks means some rocks like uh, you might have heard about granite hmm, which we are using for uh, building house or constructing our floor or something hmm. so some rocks like granite or kadappa limestone they are not having any pores or any cracks and it will be compact and it do not have any cracks or holes such rock is known as impervious rocks okay this type of rocks water cannot enter into them okay it is just opposite to pervious rocks pervious rocks as i told you which is having some cracks or minute holes and it can contain water impervious rocks means some rocks like uh, granite or kadam kadappa limestone so it is all famous rocks it is not having the capacity or it is not having any cracks or any pores it is a uh, compact and do not contain water or do not absorb water such rocks are known as impervious rocks is it clear so the definition is that some rocks like granite it will be very familiar for you the red granite okay then another one kadappa limestone this is we will get only mainly in this area okay some rocks like granite or kadappa limestone are very compact so are very compact and do not having pores okay mainly mean that do not have any pores on them so do not have any pores on the as there is no pores what will happen the water that may not be able to enter into them okay so water cannot enter water cannot enter into the such rocks are known as impervious rocks okay is it clear next coming to the word vegetation okay next coming to the other keyword vegetation the meaning of vegetation vegetation means already now it is nothing but trees and grasses okay the meaning of vegetation vegetation means trees and grasses that means suppose we in our surroundings we are having uh, some forest type of area hmm? uh, thick thick cultivated grass will be there trees will be there that all we can go to the vegetation next aquifers okay next we have aquifer so what is the meaning of aquifer hmm? you know how we are getting water 
the layer of water okay the layer of water which we are getting from underground or which accumulate from underground is known as aquifer okay that means i already told you about rocks pervious rocks and impervious rocks so the layer of water which accumulates under the ground below this rocks okay among the rocks is known as aquifer okay so what can we give the definition of aquifer the water which we get from the layer of under ground among rocks that means pervious rocks as i told which can absorb the water the same way that area is known as aquifer the layer of water which accumulates okay so the layer of water which accumulates under the ground under the ground among the rock is known as aquifer in a simple way the area among the rock from where we are able to get to water when we are drilling or already you might have seen bore wells the area where the water is not available through pipe or anything for some members they will drill bore wells dig bore wells so some areas when we are digging the bore wells when we go just above the surface we may get water some areas we have to go very deep maybe some uh, kilometers or something like that we may have to go some areas there will be rocks so some areas we are among the rocks we are digging we may get water or the area where the water is stored among the rock it is known as aquifer okay next coming to different megalithic age okay coming to times already already we discussed discussed about times times uh, what the definition we can see so far said strongly built by stones to store water hmm? and also it will be having there will be in one side a large lake and could be formed the tanks usually usually how it is built to the tanks the tanks usually built strong wall of stones are there stones and mud so both we have to use stones as well as mud to make it this hmm? where it crosses small stream wherever it is not possible okay so this we have to build with the strong wall of stones and mud across a small stream then we can collect the water without wasting okay this is known as tanks now tell me how we will get the ground water or under the ground how we are able to get the water already you know you might have studied 
in lower classes regarding the cycle how we are getting rain and everything the previous lesson itself i think we have studied about the rain and rivers and all already you know how the rain is coming hmm? the water in the sea or on the earth with the heat or with the sunlight it gets what uh, accumulated and it forms like clouds and from there again it comes like droplets of water from sky to the earth through different streams or different rivers it is flowing in our surface area and at last it reaches the sea or ocean again it will be rotated that's why it is known as cycle so when it is raining the water will be flowing from streams and uh, or some other surface area but at the same time the water will be going under the ground or the ground is having the capacity to absorb the absorb the water when it is flowing that's why when there are more vegetation more grass or more trees in that area the content of content of water will be more where there is no vegetation or no plants and grass there will be no ground water already you know desert areas for example the state rajasthan rajasthan is one state in our uh, in our india which doesn't get much rain because it is a desert area total sand if it rains also before it reaching the ground it is evaporated because of that heat so if we want to get more rain the vegetation will be should be good okay so when it rains the water which is accumulated under the ground is getting accumulated by the pervious rocks or soils or something so when we need the water when we are digging through borehole or something we are able to get the water okay that is the water cycle type